Hi everyone, it's Clyde at Vibrant Soap. And just a quick note about what I do here is I feel like I'm an idea guy and I'm just showing you the world of what I feel is possible with soap. And I'm an artist so I get really excited about using a lot of different colors and stuff because I know actually it's not practical if you're going to make soap for uh, sale to spend a lot of time mixing all these colors all the time. I just have fun doing that and I want to show you some things you can do with soap. So I just, um, I feel like I have to tell you that because I have some comments saying, well that's too many colors or that takes too long or whatever. And uh, actually I don't get that very much, but I never really made it clear what I'm here about. And that is um, showing some possibilities. Like in this case, this soap today is based on one of my paintings called Melange. And Melange is really a mix of sort of incongruent things. That's the meaning of it. And um, that's kind of what I'm doing in this one. If you look at this painting that I also called Melange quite a few years ago, um, there's a lot going on here. So the secret here is to not pick every single color in the painting, but to pick the ones that will really make it work. I'm still going to use a lot of micas in this one, but there's definitely a lot of colors I'm not using to make it practical to make. So with all that said, let's get started right now. Okay, now I have a new film card, so I hope that solves my camera's problem. And I just put some kale and clay dry on top. I don't usually do that, but um, I did this time. I'm going to use a bunch of colors and, you know, I'm just doing this as a demonstration. I'm not, I'm not saying you have to do that. I had someone that was kind of complaining that I used too many colors, but um, I am an artist, so I am attracted to doing that. And if anything, this is just uh, a demonstration of what's possible. I always thought of myself as an idea kind of person, so... This is not what you have to do. I also think that we're all individuals and that there's a lot of room for uniqueness and difference in what we do. So, definitely don't want my stuff to look the same as everybody else's and I think that's the same of everybody else. Okay, so I've got my... Cut that off my chest. I'm going to add my... My solution, make sure I've got everything I need, got all my fragrances nearby, and basing it on my painting called Melange, and there's enough color just everywhere that I'm not going to match the painting exactly, I'm just taking it as inspiration, but I do want to look at my painting, so I've got it on my computer sort of behind me so I can glance at it every once in a while. But I did take the cue of the colors, and I did have to put blinders on because I could easily have gone overboard and done even more colors. So um, I will put a list of the micros I used not right under the frame as I usually do, just because there's so many and some are combinations. I never talk about how much I stir the lye with the oils before I even start to blend, just so that. It's pretty much throughout the whole batch before I even turn on the blender. That way I don't need to use the blender as much, especially for emulsification. This emulsification just means everything's mixed together well. And I think that's what I'm gonna do. For right now, it's gonna be blended some more. Um, going to be blended more when I combine my colors. So let me get my sticks out of there. There's my yellow. And I use the cups again just to make sure that my mind at the last minute is just using a little bit of these colors. And this is going to be another charcoal soap so most of the batch is going to be colored with that activated charcoal. If I was really smart, I would have removed all my little stir sticks to save just a little bit of time. But that's just spilled milk now. I'm 
But this is definitely more advanced soap making because the more colors you have to tend to as you're preparing your pour for your pour, the more it can um, solidify before you want it to or get thick. So it's still kind of risky business every once in a while here. I'm going to add actually a little bit of fragrance to each of these cups too. Although I don't think it's going to speed things up. Okay. One more bigger portion to fill here. Okay. That purple is just so I don't have a big mass of flat black there. There's my fragrance. Most of it's going to go in there. Let me just disperse this. Really consolidating some steps here so I don't blend it as much. So the black will get blended as I blend in the fragrance. And I think I'll even blend that after I blend my colors a little bit. So starting with my lighter colors. This was my gold and yellow and orange mix because I wanted a really particular orange. I can tell right now that Better's behaving. It's a brighter orange. Oh, what do we have here? We have my white. I love this isopropyl mica. So this looks like a lot of pores, but what I'm actually doing is preparing these little bits to combine as a drop swirl. So this blue is going to be combined with the white. The orange and yellow will go together. So I'll show you that painting of mine called Melange. And that way those colors will be buddies in the design. Love this one. This is Hollywood pink from Nurture Soap. And I wanted a, like a red magenta. I'm soaping at about 73 degrees. Keeps things a little slow to harden up. This is a little bit more than the cups hold, so I'm going to whisk it a little longer. The smaller the portion is, the more it can get agitated, and at least that's what I've found. Okay, things are looking good, and I've got a mess I'm not going to worry about right now, and let's start thinking of what I want to do. So that didn't look like much um, agitation there, but I already mixed activated charcoal well, and I already partially blended the batter, so we're good to go. I'm just going to give this a scrape down, make sure that any batter that was clinging to the sides is mixed in as well. It's behaving well. Stirring some bubbles out at the same time. Yeah, things are behaving. And actually this design, since they're going to be drop swirled and then hanger swirled, that might actually do a, a good thing if a little more thick.
I'll also double checked on the camera, it's still running. So that's a good thing. Alright, we won't even worry about every single bubble that's in there. Pound this down one more time while I can. And I'm going to do a little in the pot thingy here. Just so there's more interest in that flat black. It'll be real subtle, but you'll be able to see it. Or maybe about a third of this in there. And then combine our first two colors and that's a yellow and an orange. Push this out of the way. So I'm just going to put those two together so this becomes one drop swirl and I'll have this is more for the top and I'm going to give that just a little bit of a stir pour that in there there I have some more in there Put that aside and then I want some green and my gold yellow, which is this right here. More for the top. And this one, I'm not going to blend at all. I'm just going to tap some bubbles out and pour it in the middle. Some on the side. On the side. Put that aside. Then I've got my blue and white. Do that. And this one I'm going to switch places and pour it like that. Put that for the top. Pour this in. Two spills there. And I'm going to get my magenta and purple. I'm looking at my painting and realizing that some of those colors are more blended than others. And I'll just maybe just do one line of this. Keep the rest for later on and pour. Bring our black and purple back. Move that color on top. Save a little bit more. This is very experimental. So it'll be interesting. so beautiful like that. If soap could only look like it is when it's wet after we cure it, that would be great. Oh my gosh, that's beautiful. Now destroy that beautiful pour with some more black. So you've got to know that you have a fragrance that's not going to speed up on you when you do something like this. And I have used this fragrance before. This is called Royal Bee and I really like it. 
I've used it as a mixer before. Meaning I combined it with another fragrance and it's really intriguing. And I've even got time to scrape down to my heart's content. I'm going to check up on my camera too because I don't trust it. That's going to be some wild top. And I'll start with my lighter colors. Actually, I want to because I don't want to dirty more dishes, but I want the lighter colors to be on top. So, um, when you pour what I can, just not worry about messing up more dishes. Oops. Oh, shoot. Did you see what happened? My spatula top just came off in there. I didn't even use my hanger. Hmm, since I'm still working on top, I am gonna mix things around a bit. Now I tend to put my darker colors first because I think it'll look nicer with a bright top for my vibrant soap, but you can do whatever you want to do. There's more colors in here than a rainbow soap. So far it looks like it's the camera card that was a culprit and I had a lot of camera cards because it's still running. I use my camera a lot so I abuse those memory cards. As soon as I make this soap I'm going to clean up my mess here and work on my new website. My old website ended up being pretty horrible. So if you've been trying to order, first of all, I thank you for that, but um, you'll notice that my old website is closed for the moment. That's why I wanna get this new one opened up as quickly as I can. Actually, I don't know when the camera still went out on me. <laughs> so, um, what I did was I just brought everything into the center and I didn't disturb the center line at all so that there's that wonderful color mix down the center and I put a little bit of glitter there. And, uh, shoot, I thought it was the camera card, but all right, so bring you back for the cut. Okay, let's cut this. A bit psychedelic. I'm just really liking how the colors pop in this black base of charcoal, activated charcoal. That's really wild. Wow. I'm glad I did that hanger swirl because that's really what I attribute that really twisty swirl of colors to. There's that purple. That's beautiful, I love that. 
certainly every bar is going to be very different in how those swirls came together. You notice right here where the colors kind of hang out together? That I really think is due to the the way that the micas were paired in the in the pour. Like that right there. Sort of complex because of the way it was hanger swirled. Hangers kind of pull the colors next to each other together. could have waited one more day on this soap. It's a little bit wet, but I just couldn't wait. Kind of on a schedule too, because I'm going to be driving up the road this weekend. Not to spend the night, but to just go up for like half a day and come back. So I really wanted this cut. Whoa. So I have to start editing this video together too. So anyway, this is my last cut, or second to the last cut. Thanks for hanging in there with me. I've been trying different things with my camera. Still cutting out on me, but I'll just keep plugging away and I'm gonna find, find a solution eventually. And thanks for joining me on Instagram. That's really growing. And uh, starting a new website. So the current website is down for the moment. So lots of things to keep me busy. And we'll leave you on this. Thanks for the comments too. And we'll see you next time. Bye everybody.